So often we meet with our congressional leaders in our home, in our towns, in their hometowns, and there we meet with their officers, we meet with their the people in their office locally to be able to come to Washington, D.C., to meet them where they are, where they are really working hard to affect legislation and to really lead in our nation representing our region um, matters because we can talk to them about right now what's happening in D.C. as it relates to the arts. And so my hope is to remind them to lift them up and lift the arts up to make sure that they remember the arts are a huge part of what their conting their contingency cares about and that we have an economic impact, that we have an educational impact, that we have a social impact. And so really having that conversation, not only with them, but also their staff who rarely comes back to, you know, the home offices. So it's really important just to meet them where they are, you know, in that leadership role and, and, and join the environment of a very high, you know, high pressure position and making the arts really important to them. We are part of a global economy um, in Central Florida, in the state of Florida, you know, in the nation. So when you look at the economic impact of our local community, you've got to have something to compare it to on a national scale. How do we fit into the larger economic you know, impact of the arts on a national level? So Americans for the Arts provides that, that benchmark for us, but the leadership on how to use this information to really influence change, to influence elected officials, to influence investors in the arts to say, we matter. So we are not experts in that in the, at the local level. So to have Americans for the Arts really at the national level to guide us on why this matters to elected officials, especially at the national level, is very important. The arts were an important part of our family. Uh, my mother, was a dance major in college. So she had studied dance for a long time. Ironically, I was an, a student athlete. I played basketball in college. Um, I sadly was not um, a musician or an artist in my educational journey, um, but it was part of our family. So my younger brother is a, a musician, a talented musician, and it was just always part of our family. But as an athlete, I saw in public schools in Indianapolis, I grew up in Indianapolis, in the public schools, as an athlete, I had everything I needed. We didn't have to pay for buses. We didn't have to pay for uniforms. We, did, we just had what we needed. But the band members, the jazz members, the marching band, they had to sell grapefruit and candy bars for everything they needed. Well, part of my passion is why is it that my younger brother's talent, his creative talent, was less than my athletic talent. It shouldn't be. So I get up every day to make sure that the arts can thrive, that artists have the resources that they need in our local community to be all that they dream to be, just like I did you know, as a student athlete. So then after I graduated from college, um, I have a liberal arts degree with a major in business and a minor in communication. So you're seeing no arts profession there. Um, I started out in sales and I worked in broadcasting and public affairs, but the whole time I had this professional career in the, in, in the for-profit sector, I started volunteering in the arts. And so my volunteer work in the arts helped me learn about Americans for the Arts and the National Endowment for the Arts and the local United Arts organizations. I wrote grants for the, the local ballet when I served on their board. So as I grew in this professional career in marketing and Affairs, I grew as a volunteer in the community. And at some point, I learned how to raise money for the nonprofit sector. So I, uh, I, because I believe in it, I believe in the value of the arts to our local economy, to education, to quality of life, everything that makes a healthy community, the arts contribute to. So I saw that through my professional life and my volunteer life. And um, and started working really hard to, to make the arts an important part of our community. And um, ultimately, the man that hired me in my first job was the chairman of the board of the first arts organization that I worked for in South Carolina. And he called me one day and he said, Jennifer, we need your help or we'll pay you this time. So I became an executive director of an arts organization about 13 years ago and then found myself you know, needing a change in my life. And I moved 
to Central Florida for to work for United Arts. So I don't have an arts administration background and, and my passion really is building community. And I know that the arts are a tremendous community builder and, and they change and transform people's lives. And so I'm, it's an honor to be a part of it. You know, knowing your audience and, and being able to speak to them, to meet them where they are about what they care about, because I know that the arts are across every passion area, whether it's housing or education or mental health or veterans, the arts can improve every single you know measure that we're trying to move the needle on. So for me, it just makes perfect sense, you know, to be a part of this and to advocate and, and to really meet people where they are and help them see it in their own lives. Because I believe everybody has an art story. You know, and you don't have to be an artist, and you don't have to, even if you are an artist, you only have to be good to be an advocate for the arts. You know, I think it's really time for us as humans to embrace the arts as a real powerful tool to, to meet our neighbors, to build connections um, in areas where we may not understand each other. And it's a healing power, it's a uniting power, and it's whether you share a love for a song or dance or a beautiful mural or poetry or woodworking, carpentry or sculpting. So I think that there's no better time than really coming together around the arts as a common language to love one another and to celebrate our, the things we share as well as our differences because they can be peaceful.